All right, and we are back at it again with another episode of the Past the Vibes podcast. Uh, and it's actually another uh, late edition, or what did I call it? I forgot what I called the, it. The, the late night. Late night, late night vibes or some shit. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're back with another episode. Um, as always, it's your man J Rod and uh, Rod and co host, per the use, we have. Shades, aka Zero, aka Who Are You Today? It's your man Prince Ali in the building. Make way. No, stop. You're not singing any Disney songs. For Prince Ali. Bro, they might copyright just from saying the lyrics. Uh, <laughs> nah, the, the, the vocals are nowhere near on point, so it they, can't, matter, like, they can't catch lyrics, me. Copyright. Uh, they they have, Disney is a powerhouse. They, so they own everything, dude. Disney, I, I'm a big fan. I want no, I want no smoke. And I'm not. Yeah, Disney's. Mm, and. <laughs> Returning for a third time, our boy. Let's go. Pretty much, yeah, man. He's riding. Third, yeah. He's riding. He's my boy now too, bro. He's like, that's what I said. Our boy. Yeah, yeah. That's what I but I was gonna say something sus. So I was gonna be like yeah, running yeah. again with the threesome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm with it. I'm with it. Pause. Big Tom, pause. aka Tom Cass, man. Welcome back. Thank you for having All me. All right, and um, for for this episode, um, kind of almost like spur of the moment. I mean, you told me about this idea last week. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's, it sounds like a, a little fun idea so we'll see how <laughs> how long this goes on for we'll um, see what what yeah. uh so i mean yeah you can introduce like what you want the uh the main yeah actually i wanted to try to start off all right yeah, yeah. like these a little bit different so i mean instead of telling people at the end you know what just i'm fucking telling people at the beginning you know leave a rating even if you don't listen to this whole podcast you know follow us subscribe all of the links to see us where we're at on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you want to find us. Watch all, and listen to our old stuff. It's, it's all good in stuff. the description below. You know, just rate it. I think we got like three or four ratings so far. My, my brother gave us one. Your brother annoys me, bro. Uh, you're uh, Much love to the guy because, you know, he follows me on everything. But fucking open up my gifts, man. Bro, to, to, to his defense, though, he he does it to everybody. It's not well, just no. you. Well, then I'm going to delete him. It's not just this you. Is, this is nerd Pokemon Go talk. It's Tom's not just you. Just he he no actually has a lot of love for you, bro. He actually has a lot of love for you. He, I love him too. He said, oh. um, he said your Halloween video that you just posted. Yeah. He said he's a huge fan of it. You oh, did a nice. great job. He can keep rewatching it. Give me more views. <laughs> I'm gonna bring him through one of these days. Maybe we'll play some you games should. or something. You should. He but, would um, love to get on the game plays. I think that you yeah. you guys will vibe on that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But um, yeah, follow, rate us, do whatever, man. Yep. Um, and to move on yeah tell us what uh what you wanted the main topic of the day to be so on um on our gameplay yeah. when we were doing uh super mario 64 yeah, yeah we started talking about like throwback games like old school like computer flash, games flash yeah games. like on yeah. Uh, cartoon network.com nickelodeon.com games addicting games all of that yeah. and then that kind of sparked something in me i'm like yo it would be dope if we did like a whole throwback episode yeah. just about like different things from our childhood that may no longer exist. Cause even with, when we were looking through some of that stuff, it was nostalgic. Like I hadn't thought about flash games and computer games yeah. in years. Well, like candy, candy, candy world. It was like, they had like uh little miniature golf games. I would do that shit. in oh, like school. the Facebook games. And yeah. Shit? Oh, not the Facebook games, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I thought was, you were talking about like candy. It was like pool and then you could do, Miniature golf, and you'd just be playing that during yeah, like study hall or whatever. Put it in another window. Yeah, yeah bro. Exit that real quick. So it's a, it's just like I was like, man, it would be dope to do a throwback episode. And uh, when I knew when we knew that you were gonna be coming through for uh, our previous episode, the double XL, it's like, yo, I wonder if Tom would be interested in uh, hopping in this. And Justin, be even before we met, Justin says like, oh man, Tom is all about that. All three of us, all about the retro life. All throwback three of us are nineties guys. Yes. So yeah, throwback everything. So. Pretty much, like, we could just talk about anything that comes to mind. So, um, you want to start? Yeah, off? yeah. One of the things, and it, this is it's going to be crazy, because anyone listening to this, especially from this area, or even if you're not from the area, it'll be a whole journey, because it's, yeah. like, very nostalgic. But one of the things I had in mind, I just wanted to reflect upon, the old school Cherry Hill Mall. Mm. Cherry Hill Mall now is known as, like... Cherry Deep, Hill, New Jersey. Yeah, Cherry Hill, New <laughs> Jersey. Known as the premier, like, shopping center. People, South Jersey, South. Yeah, yeah around here. There's, there's a bigger one up north. Around here. So... Like now, if you go to the Cherry Hill Mall, Nordstrom, a bunch of boutiques, True Religion, Express, every store you could imagine, all There's your shopping needs. Yeah, bro. Oh, there is true, true Religion. religion yeah. They're not as hot as they once were when they no. were getting all the name drops and all that. But uh, yeah, it's not the mid 2000s anymore, man. But I remember, like, before 
I remember when Cherry Hill Mall went through their phase, and then both of you guys said that you were more so, like Burlington Center Mall. Burlington Center Mall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So like with Cherry Hill, in two thousand eight is when they started doing their whole remodel, right? And I knew that me and my boys, we used to go there all the time. It's to crazy walk that around. you guys know these dates, bro. I'm, my mind. Yeah, bro. Yeah, we're kind of, like he's an encyclopedia. It's I crazy. feel like I have like a crazy memory too. But like sometimes. I remember that, um, like everyone that used to be hangout spot. Obviously, mm-hmm. when you're a preteen, yeah. when you're a teenager, even you're when you're with off. your fa- when you're young with your family, you go there. And I remember in 2008, like we went to the mall one day, and like the big fountain that was near the J.C. Penney, they took that out. The um, the whole food court started getting remodeled. Mm-hmm. And then I started seeing mall cops, like security. I've never seen those before. All the years in, ma- in the mall, I was like, "What the hell is going on yeah. right now?" And then we see Nordstrom get put in there. Now, for people who don't know, Nordstrom is a high class like mm-hmm. department Women, store. Women's department store. I don't they, know. They sell men's stuff too. Nah, they sell I've everything. Never, I've never seen it, bro. I feel Sit so out of place because now I live in North. True. I feel so out of place in Mors- Nordstrom, bro. I remember the first time we walked in. Every once in a while, I still go in there just to look around. I'm like, man, I don't even belong here. Yeah, for a real. A T-shirt's a few hundred dollars. I'm good. So like. <laughs> Once they has put Nordstrom in there, you start hearing the the, mu- the elevator music playing like throughout the whole mall. But the real ones know, prior to this remodel, the Cherry Hill Mall was just a whole vibe in itself. Mm-hmm. Um, the food court it was used a to have special like special occasion, bro. It used to have creaky chairs. People used to come in. Th- this now, if you do this, you get kicked out. <laughs> I remember dudes used to come up and try to sell like burn CDs. Mm-hmm. I remember one dude um, came up to me and my boys one time. This was 2008, mind you. So Lil Wayne's Carter 3 had just dropped. He came up to us like, hey, hey, fellas, man, y'all cop that new Wayne? And we're like, the Carter 3? Like, yeah, we got it. And he's like, oh, y'all got Carter 3, but you got I Carter 4? Four. Four? And we're mm-hmm. like, like, what? And then my boy was like, I think I said, I was like, yeah, yeah, man, I got that just to be funny or whatever. And he had this look on his face like, oh, you got four? He's like, you got Carter five? He's like, you got Carter five? He's like, yo, I got Dr. Dre's detox right here. Like just trying to sell like whatever to us or what, you know what I'm saying? People would sell their local CDs back in the time before uh, streaming and before Mm -hmm. the internet. They would make physical copies of their album, try to sell it in there. Um, It was just a whole vibe in itself. But what I missed the most, the old school stores, man. Um, the store of knowledge. I grew up on that. It was like a store affiliated with PBS. Mm-hmm. You guys ever hear that? Yeah, I think so. They were always advertising it in their um in their commercials. They would sell like educational toys, telescopes, um, merchandise for like their characters and all that. My favorite store, uh, uh, Hall of Heroes. I remember when Hall that when Heroes, that got put yeah. in there. They were like the first comic book store that I ever really found out about. They would sell all the Dragon Ball Z figures. Me and my brother loved that. Wow. Um. They got me into Wacky Wobblers before the Funko Pops. Funko had a line called Wacky Wobblers. They were like these bobbleheads. They made a lot of Hanna Barbera characters. You sound like a diehard collector. Yeah, he's right going crazy. I, bro, he's going I, I am, bro. I, bro, I spend a shitload of money on toys and stuff. So it's like I'm still into that stuff. But while that's I, like while I sit in front of like seventy pop figures, I'm still eyeing that secret know, squirrel in Morocco Mole, bro. You want to pay me? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But like. It was like going in the Hall of Heroes. That was like the first store that really got me into that kind of collector, stuff. And the, 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 because it's like I was always into action figures and stuff, but like with the bobbleheads of cartoon Bronx characters. I think had, had a store like that. They had too. something like that, yeah. It was yeah. on the second floor. Yeah. Well, Hall of Heroes was right amazing. The they had the. Court. They had the statues of like the superheroes as soon as you walk in, so it gave you like that nerdy vibe. But if you're a kid, you loved it. My first like personal FYE, favorite. FYE, FYE has FYE. FYE. They're F- still around. Too. Yeah, there's one in my mall right now. FYE is still around. Um, the record stores like Sam Goody. Sam Goody. Sam classic. Goody. Shh, bro, like old school record store. Like Tower Records was near the Cherry Hill Mall too. Like being able it to was go right next to it. Yeah. Yeah, being able to go and get like actual physical CDs was a vibe in itself at mm-hmm. the time. And then my personal favorite store, and I still vow to this day, if I ever end up getting a bunch of money, I will do whatever it takes to bring this store back. The Warner Brothers store. I remember you'd walk in. It only lasted like 10 years. I think it opened in 91 and closed in the early 2000s. I remember that store. The Cherry Hill Mall had this Warner Brothers store. It was, when you walk in, there was a giant statue of Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck in like tuxedos. Mm. And then you'd walk in. There was a giant spaceship. It was like called Marvin the Martian spaceship. They had little yeah, games and actually, stuff that kids no, would play. I think, I think I know what you're talking about. Wow. Now. You're there was back memories. Bro, <laughs> there was a giant TV like in the back wall that would play cartoons. And then the whole store itself, apparel, accessories, 
toys, um, artwork. So it's uh, like the Disney store now. Yeah. Right? Except it's like it was always cooler to me though because it had Looney Tunes. Yeah. It had uh, yeah, he's a diehard Looney, Looney Tunes. Guy, yeah. All the Hanna Barbera characters, since they were all under that umbrella, the Animaniacs, Pinky and the Brain, yeah. Tiny wow. Toons, Pinky and, the Brain. and they had all the DC superheroes. So kind of like all the merch that you see if you were to go to Six Flags was mm-hmm. all in this store, and I used to love it, man. It's like some type of affiliation with Six Flags. Oh, for sure, yeah. for sure, bro. But it's just like, man, seeing like that store, I would always get so happy. It was like when, as a kid, it was one of my go tos. KB Toy was in there too. KB Toys R Us was obviously. Clutch. Outside of us working there, KB yeah. was different. Until we bought them. Yeah, bro. Like the KB was that shit. I love that how they had that little bin mm-hmm. right in the entrance, and it had like all of like the, the jumping toys and shit. And they, they always had so- up. they always had someone displaying one yeah. of those toys too. Mm-hmm. It was just like Toys R Us was like the big place that you'd always want to go to for your birthdays and stuff like that. But if you were just in the mall, like a quick stop, man, you would go to KB yeah. Toy and you'd always leave with like something small. Like they never had a, they weren't huge, but you'd always leave with. Uh, you know something there it always gave you a good feeling there so it's just like like yeah man but that warner brothers store just hit different like if i ever luck into the money i always say i want to buy a chipotle franchise or multiple and i want to make it open 24 hours i want to make a chipotle breakfast they y'all should just hire me as an advisor right now because i'm giving y'all ideas but like you said chipotle what I want to open a Chipotle store. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. A Chipotle I franchise. You said advisor. Advisor, bro. To, uh, why is like if you think about like when you leave the club or when everyone leaves the club on a Friday or Saturday night, they well, first thing they do, everyone's lit. They go, go to, to a cheesesteak place. Go to the if, Chip, if Chipotle was open, it would be a, yeah. it would be packed. People would want to be eating Chipotle. I would make it twenty four hours. Now also introduce Chipotle breakfast. Make your own breakfast burrito. Do, do little things like that. Maybe do some collaborations. I want to, if I ever luck in the money, you will definitely see me owning some Chipotle franchises. But you will also <laughs> see me try and resurrect the Warner Brothers store because that was a whole vibe in itself. I wish it existed now. I would be shopping there all the time as, as an adult. But yeah, bro, just like, the, and, oh, and I also need to give a shout out to the old school Foot Locker. Fuck, yeah, for sure. The complete opposite. Like, in I was the last. Say, that's why I went to the mall for the sneaker stores. The last episode, we were dropping a bunch of throwback basketball players. The old school Foot Locker, for anyone who remembers in the Cherry Hill Mall, felt like a nightclub. Mm-hmm. It was almost the exact opposite. Like, you walk in there now, it's illuminated, it's organized, very, like, clean. Yeah. Over there, I remember it was on pretty much on the left side of the mall, the across from where it's at right now. First thing you'd see is, like, these. Uh, these video, these TVs, always playing the latest hip hop videos. Yep. So like Nelly, G Unit, mm. Jay Z, anyone that was in, hot. I remember walking in and they had the the AI and Jada Kiss Reebok commercial on there. Classic. I had the G Units. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's Bro, it. it's like at G-Unit, that time. That's Doc Carter's. That's because they were with Reebok. It's like at that time too. It's like I remember you'd walk in and the walls were. Filled with just, it's like everything that was hot. You'd see all the Iverson sneakers, like you said, the S. Doc Carters, the G units. I think I had some questions. The Dadas, um, those were oh, like Spreewells were with the with the, the spinners spinny, on yeah. them. Dada, dude. And Damn. then the back wall would be just flooded, filled with all the NBA jerseys, all the throwbacks that you guys are seeing right now. That's what they were wearing at the time. The Sixers with the uh, the Iverson Sixers jersey with the the magic basketball or whatever, mm-hmm. the Steve Francis Rockets jersey with the actual rocket on it. Mm-hmm. The AI um, football jersey. Those jerseys. are my favorite Rockets jerseys. The AI, oh yeah, the football, the football jersey. jersey. The yeah. football jersey, I had the red one. Yeah, man, it was just like, all these stores, it's like looking back on them now, it's like, if you know, it's going to know things, if you know, you know. But it's like, I love the experience of the Cherry Hill Mall right now, but looking back on it from a nostalgic standpoint, it's like I really wish I could just go back in time yeah. and like visit that. Blockbuster Video was another one Blockbuster. too. Blockbuster. Blockbuster Tower Records. Even I mean Annie Ann's is still around, but it was just different back in the day. The old school Annie Ann's Bro. pretzel shop. You get there, you get that, you be walking around, you go to Foot Locker, you go to Sam Goody, food court. Bronson Center had uh, Sarku Japan. I get the chicken teriyaki. What? On point. <laughs> Shout out to Sarku. And had the bur- they had the Burger King in, in the corner. And then it just, it just all fell apart, man. But I wish I wish I could go back. That was fun. We used to go to Bronson Center, right? Yeah. And right across was Regal. Yeah. Regal Movie Theater. So we'll do both. We'll go. That's we'll, how I like the Cherry Hill Mall. It's the package deal. We'll get, we'll get dropped off at the mall. 
and uh, we'll do that, yep. and then we'll walk across with walk our girls over. to the fucking movie theater. Sneak in. You know what I'm saying? Watch a movie, Catch sneak into the next one. Yeah, yeah. Get double I'm feature. talking like middle school, though. This is crazy. Middle school, like we just get dropped off. It's a different time. I never dropped my middle school child off. Uh, yeah, you think, can't do that now, yeah. man. Well, I mean, kids still uh, yeah, they, they still off. do it, but it's just, like it's a yeah, no one's. I wouldn't do it yeah, now. No one would really do it. But we get dropped off. We'd walk around the mall by ourselves, walk across the street, go to the movie theater, and damn, and no like no cell phone, bro. Yeah. It's just like you. They were there at a time, and you had to be there. Yeah, we we knew we knew the movie started at seven forty five, so we get to the mall at like six, walk around the mall. Get to the shit. movie, then the parents will know that the movie starts at seven forty five and will be done by nine fifteen, nine thirty. So the parents will be outside of the at the movie theater at nine thirty. Yep. This is how it worked. It was it was a different time. We man. were yeah, I feel like we were a lot more scheduled and we were a lot more organized time wise. You had to be without the internet. As kids. Yeah. yeah, as kids, like millennial kids. We were probably so organized, we just didn't even realize it. Compared to now, hell yeah. Now it's just like, fuck, what time is it? Oh, or you snooze your alarm like eight different times. Yeah, Brown said it was dope, man. And then it's just, everything just fell apart. I don't know what happened. What, where oh, was oh this located? God. Where was Burlington, Burlington Center? Burlington Center was on 541. Yeah, do you, do you know where the old Toys R Us was on 541? Did you ever go to that one? I, I don't think I've ever been to a Toys R Us outside of Cherry Hill. Jeez. Yeah, because it's actually in a good spot because yeah. the turnpike and 295 yeah, is right there. That 541 was like a good like highway. Did yeah. didn't you work at that store yeah. for a little bit? So when the, yeah, when the Cherry Hill store closed for renovations, I got transferred to that store, which was dope because like I remembered it as because I would go to that Toys R Us as a kid mm-hmm. and buy video games and toys and shit. So when I got hired there, I'm like, oh, I got transferred there. I was like, oh shit! Like I remember riding my bike for the first time in front of this store. Like, I learned how to oh, ride so a that bike. That was super nostalgic Bro, for you. Bro, it was crazy. And then, like... That's the Toys R Us. And then to see it torn down, it was, like, just... It was so disheartening. It's crazy. Now it's a fucking... It's a gym. Five below. No, something. it's a plane of fitness. Have you seen our old store lately? No, it's still the same. I know you have. Yeah, it's... um, You walk around there, you weirdo. I sent you a gift on Pokemon Go. I was like, this dude really sent me another Pokemon Go shit. Uh, Another uh, Pokemon Go gift from our old statue. I was like, what the fuck is this dude walking around there for? (laughs) I I was at Walmart. I was at Walmart and it was there. But um, I think they're turning it into like a, a... I don't want. I want to say a gym, maybe. Probably. I don't know. It, a gym or a supermarket. Well, yeah, the one that's in Burlington, it's a Planet Fitness. Well, the one near me in East Brunswick, they, they turned it into like a trampoline park before COVID. Oh, Sky Zone. Not even Sky Zone. Some, some nice. something else. Some Sky random. Zone's a shit. I I would I was fucking never mind. You were fucking right. No, no. I was gonna. I was trying to say something, but it was gonna come off weird. And I was. I'm not even gonna say it because I'm gonna have to pause myself yeah, a million times. You don't have to. Just pause. I was killing. I was killing kids with dodgeballs. <laughs> I've never been to Sky That's Zone not before. Too bad. Not, well, yeah. Once I worded it in my head correctly, yeah, because that yeah, place is it dope. is dope, but yeah. it's just, it gets packed for me. It's oh yeah, too, too many people at the same time. Fucking but. stinks for real though. Yeah, just old school malls. Brunson Center was my spot for the arcade as a little fat kid, bro. That arcade in there, I was with there with my dad all the time, practicing on Tekken, Tekken three, Tekken two, Tekken three, the the Marvel versus Capcom shit. That arcade was tiny as fuck, but like I was there all the time, and that will have to be I like. I forgot about that, bro. Arcade. Yeah, dude, shit. it was it was downstairs. It was right near like Sears. Yes, it, it was, was like, downstairs all the way on like the, I want to say the right side, like facing the mall. All the way to the right. All on the, and it was at the end. It was, so it was it, in a it, corner. It was either Sears or J.C. Penney. It was in a corner. It was either yeah. Sears or J.C. Penney. It was right before it, right it, near the water fountain. Yep. Yeah, it had the little penny fountain next mm-hmm. to it. And the elephant with my, the big ass Yeah. Elephant. That Burlington Center Mall, bro. With all the coins in there. My, my, yeah, either like whether I was with my mom or dad, like they wouldn't know if they left. And this is another thing. They just leave you back then. Yeah, you were able to leave kids. As bad as that sounds in 2020, because no one would ever think about leaving their kid in an arcade now. Arcades don't even exist anymore, really. But in the fucking mid 90s, parents were leaving their kids because they actually trusted, in a way, society. Yeah. Like, ah, my kid won't get abducted because, like, they know they trust me because you have to trust your kid to yeah. be aware. That you're going to have the street smarts at least. Yeah, to- yeah. So it's like they trusted me that I wouldn't be dumb enough to be like, 
oh, cool, like, this guy wants to show me something or whatever. But, like, yeah, they would leave me there for, like, 45 minutes. And go shop. Yeah, my mom, because it's, like, you know, and, I mean, this is still true to this day. Parents don't like having their kids around when they shop. They, mm. they slow shit down. They distract them. It's annoying. Or they speed shit up or they rush them. It's bad on the kids' part, too. Yeah. Oh, no, so- that's what I'm saying. That's why parents like to just get shit done without their kids around. Yeah. And so, like, back then, you can drop your kids off at the movie theaters. Mm-hmm. You can drop your kids off at the arcade and not have to worry about them. Or, or you would worry just because parents worry in general. And that's just normal. But, yeah. I, I remember being left there alone, like, just fucking just playing Tekken or, or Marvel vs. Capcom for, like, an hour. Or some shit, yeah. bro. Just leave me. There was. Some shit. Well, was this arcade, like, a standalone? It was by itself. It wasn't, like, a franchise. I think I do remember going there maybe, like, once or twice. Because I, re- I do remember, like, being not in the mall. But I remember being like near it, but going to an arcade. No, this this arcade was in the mall. It's inside the mall. I, th- yeah. I, th- I, th- I th- still think oh, I might it, have been there. It wasn't there like before. outside. It was in. The yeah, mall. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I wish more like uh, the one I would go to, and I think this is like the last remaining arcade from the area, the Defford Mall one. That ended up closing in like. Far, but yeah. I've only went to Defford Mall for literally twenty five minutes, and I got so mad because I went there to go to a. a Either an Express or an H and M because they had the size of pants I was fucking looking for. This was recently. Yeah, I think 2018. I want to say that's your only time in Defford Mall. Only time, and I remember hearing about like how like the size of the mall was and like the stores that they had. But I like beelined it to Express, got the pants, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna ex- I'm gonna you know explore. But it was dead heat of Christmas season. Oh, and the yeah. parking lot was already oh. fucked. Not shot. the best time parking, to go. Well, bro. yeah. Well, that's why like no I shot. wound up there. Yeah. Because this is when I was living in Audubon. So I was like, Def- the Deptford Mall from where I was at in Audubon, it was like 10 minutes. I was mm-hmm. like, whoa, I've never, why haven't I done this? But, no um, way, that place gets packed. Yeah, I, I said the parking lot, dead heat. It was it was like December and I parked far away anyway. So the parking lot was already fucked up and I didn't want to deal with traffic anyway. So I was like, you know, I'm going to beeline it there, get out and I'll come back another day. I never went back. If you catch it on a day that it's just not packed, it's pretty yeah, fun. Off like, season, yeah, probably. There, there's a bunch of stores there. I think for me, I always appreciated it because so I would always go to Cherry Hill Mall. Uh, Morristown Mall would be like the second option. But when I would go to Deptford Mall, and especially with me and my friends, once we were seniors in high school and my boy got his car, that would be like our mm-hmm. adventure. Like, oh, let's go out to the Deptford Mall. Mall. Yeah, because yeah. it's we'll like we... Go to Franklin Mills. Fra- oh, oh Frank, we've, I've Franklin been there a Mills, couple times. That's that even was, bigger. That was... Uh, Pause. That was um, the mall I would go to for their arcade because their arcade was fucking dope. And it wasn't like how it is now. Like every. I think now it's a David every, Buster's. Yeah, every Mills because it's Philadelphia Mills. But I forgot the chain of the chain of mall or, or, or the organization that these chain of malls yeah, are I know under. Because like Oxford Valley, too. Oxford Valley, that's one of them. Philadelphia mm-hmm. Mills. And mm-hmm. then there's one in North Carolina that I went to. There's one in, I think, Virginia. They're all the same. Yeah, they're all under the same uh, company. But yeah, now and so the, yeah, they turn all of like those arcades and like kind of like recreational areas into Dave and Buster's, which is fine. But I'm not a big fan of Dave and Buster's. It's all right. I, I like it. I think that there's something special about the arcade, though. Like just the type of game, especially back in the '90s, like the type of games that you would play and all that. And it's like they've made a comeback now, like putting these games on like Nintendo Switch and all that. It's just a whole different thing, putting the quarters in and trying to get as far as you can to try and beat it. Well, what I was telling Justin, there's a place near me in North Jersey where you, we, me and my wife went, and they had all types of video games, old school, new, new yeah, school. Yeah, I had a couple of retro like spots near me. And yeah, and it was a BYOB too, so it was dope. So you just go in there with a six pack. You go there. You're Is playing, it still up there? I was playing Crazy Taxi on Dreamcast. Is it still up there? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. With COVID, I haven't checked on it, but but like, yeah, like we a- went there like. Last year or two, maybe two years I'm ago. I'm down to go. Dope, you know, son. Dope. You know, I remember there's well, a couple of bars like that in Philly, and I'll never forget this this time where I, I we walked in and they're like, "Yo, this place has video games there," and they're like, "What?" Barcade? No, that's like an actual arcade. This place had like consoles, so like a Nintendo 64 with four controllers just sitting there, and it had like different little stations. And you would just games. yeah, and you would just sit there and chill. But four player up, you you know you just get next or something, bro. I I'll never forget because like I was somewhat sober, 
So I knew that I was just going to fucking run shit because everyone who was playing Smash Drunk. with me were fucked up. And I'm good at Super Smash Bros. 64, like relatively good. And these people had no idea what they were doing or they were just too fucked up to play. I'm like, yo, man, this guy's fucking crazy, man. It's like, I felt so good. But I was like, yeah. Loving I was shit, like, right? yeah. I was like, come on, I'm trying to impress a girl or some shit, but no girls came over. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the appeal of it for those places, right? Like for people to be able yeah. to drink and then yeah. yeah. play the games. And it was that. dope because like the place we went to, like I didn't know it was BYOB, but there was a liquor store across the street. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to go grab a six pack or something. We're going to chill. Um, and my wife was playing Pac Miss Pac Man. Mm-hmm. Every girl had, loves Pac Man. They had all the the the, the actual games. It wasn't yeah, it wasn't odd. like all consoles. It was the actual like the arcade actual odd, games. Yeah, yeah. Cabinet, so they they had the consoles too. Like there was like five or six couches lined up That's with wild, consoles man. with the TVs. Just... Like each each TV had like three or four different consoles. So you can pick what you wanted, and the games were there too. So if you wanted to play Dreamcast, I was playing Crazy Taxi. I was playing sixty four. I was playing Goldeneye and Perfect Woo! Dark. Woo! And it's just like yeah, you it, it, it just it you was, gotta come through and play though. I got both of them. You got Perfect Dark. Yes. A lot of people don't know about Perfect Dark, My, dude. People sleep on it because it was the next title after Goldeneye because Goldeneye it, was such a hit, bro. But yo, know, if we play Goldeneye, time. you can't be uh, Odd Job or whatever his name is. Yeah, that was a rule. Yeah, you don't. He never played. Nah, man. I never played. Yeah, he, was, he never played the sixty four. Bro, I, I got my sixty four. Go I was crazy. like, I got my sixty four in two thousand three, off a deal of a uh, from like how a do you know? magazine. How do you know that year? <laughs> bro, I, I remember. I just need to know why you know that. I have a, a large memory bank. The bro. only years that I know, what I told Justin is yeah. like. What come when it comes to music or, or anything? Nas albums is ninety four for Illmatic. And I remember 96 is the AI draft with AI and Ray Allen, Steve Nash, Kobe, Kobe. all of them. And that's, pre- that's pretty much where it stopped. I don't remember anything else. As far Damn, as bro. years. <laughs> Actually, no. Dedication 2, I remember too, because it was 2006. That's when I graduated high school. Yeah. And we had our, fa- our first like beach house with me and my boys. And that's all we listened to is Dedication 2. And that shit is a classic. Yeah. Dude, I think dedication to Carter Two. He just announced that uh, D Seven. No, nah, he needs to stop. He needs to stop. Yeah, D Seven's coming out. Not nah, he announced it. Him and DJ Drama, I think, he's are doing D Seven. Kidding me? I just took a break. Let me take a break. You good? Yeah. All right. Uh, Little pause. bathroom break right now. Okay, I gotta find the mouse. <laughs> Fuck, I can't see it. All right, and uh, we're back. That might get that might have gotten cut off weird, but it doesn't matter. Yo, Yo, so for so real quick yeah. though, for that um, so that place you're talking about, how's it work? Like, do you just pay to play the? You just uh, pay to play the games for a certain amount of time? Or? Yeah, I think it's by the hour. No, oh, that makes sense. You I could like be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's by the hour. Because they actually uh, at, at the like I was saying at the Defer Mall, they had an arcade that lasted for a long time, but now. When I, last time I was there, they had this type of room. And it's crazy because this type of thing probably, like you said, will no longer exist like post-COVID. But it would be like the same thing. Like you'd walk into a room, they'd have these chairs. They didn't sound like they didn't have as many TVs and games. But it was kind of like the same thing. Like they would sell old school games. But then they also had like the arcade things. They had some gaming chairs. And you'd see people just playing Smash Brothers on... Um, on like N64 or Smash Brothers on on GameCube or whatever. And I feel like, yo, that's pretty, that's kind of a smart idea because at this point, like amongst our age group, retro and throwback is in. Like everyone loves like to reminisce and reflect on things from their childhood. And you see it even with like merchandise and apparel, like with Space Jam, for example, or Goofy Movie, like all these old franchises. It's like now you're seeing like, you're seeing t-shirts and everything like they get retro and it's like, like our generation since we grew up with it it's like we're quick to jump on it we're the so. majority yeah that's why so the we're the majority of marketers and companies they all know that like we're kind of not like we're stuck but like we always have a need to go back in time to relive something so it's like hey why not like throw it on a fucking t-shirt or something like that or throw it you know re-release something in hd 4k or something like that that's why i mean this is a whole another topic but this is why all of these things keep getting reboots and and um and sequels when they don't need to but it's just they're appealing to our generation because 
it's like they feel like we want it and some of us do i mean i'm not gonna front yeah but like i was talking about it the other day like the whole they did what i did not want anyone to do and i mean i guess this kind of falls in line with the whole retro thing with the uh fresh prince of bel-air reboot Mm -mm. you know what i'm saying like i didn't i didn't i i remember when i saw all those reboots on netflix like um uh not friends uh, full Full house Uh, excuse me they they tried friends they tried to do like joey like a reu yeah they tried to flip it or some shit people don't even know that's even now it's pretty fucking sad but yeah they tried to do like these like so spinoffs sequels reboots and yeah there is a demographic that maybe wants it but i just in my opinion i feel like the majority is just like yo leave that leave that shit in that time capsule and then when we want to go check it out then we'll go check it out. Don't try to redo it mm-hmm. for the new age because like there's new people who might want to see it, and then you just ruin it, and then you lose a big chunk of people who might want to <coughs> you know relive that. Because now it's like I know uh, with the Fresh Prince being what it, so yeah, it's being rebooted. I think that's what we talked about. Yeah, well, it, I it, think they're running it, out. It they're running out the mansion on Airbnb. for a limited time. Yeah, it was like a dollar. Something stupid, ridiculous. But yeah. real quick, I got good news. Yeah, that yeah. place I was talking about is still open. Word. It's open till actually two a.m. That's a whole club right Wait, there. When? Yes. How far is it from you? It's called Yestercades. How you, How long is it from you? Somerville, New Jersey. There's Somerville, Red Bank, New Jersey. How far is it? Westfield. From you? I, I haven't <laughs> been. I don't know for my new crib because oh, the, yeah, the yeah. listeners don't know. I just moved, so I I don't know. Let me see. Hold on. Red Bank think, can't be that far. That's like not that far from. I think Denver. we went to Somerville one. Let me see. Well, no, because I'm. A, I need to visit his new place. So okay. that's what I'm saying. Like maybe can, one weekend, yeah, I'll we, fucking go up there and we chill out there. I'll bring it. Actually, I don't really drink anymore. It's sober Justin right yeah. now. Damn, it's forty minutes from my new crib. Fuck. <laughs> that means it's like yeah. almost two hours from me. Oh, let's but, see. I mean, we can make it. That could be like a trip. I'll go up there, and if you want to drive up there, I don't know. It's up to you guys. Anyway. Uh, hour 17 from you. What the fuck, bro? It's not too bad. Hey, bro, but yeah, it, so I mean, making it up to you is like 45 minutes. But yeah, anyway. but the, if, if you plan on being there for a yeah. while, though, that's what I'm that, saying. That, that trip might be worth it. Yeah, I mean. Shit, I have I an extra up room. There. You can sleep over. That's what I'm saying. I might, I'm, I might end up there. It's anyway. not like you never lived with me before. You got roommates. My kids. Me. My they wife. they need to go see Uncle it'll Justin, a, man. It'll be a family reunion. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's been what almost three months since I've seen them from the beach. The beach, yeah, that was crazy. Those are good times. Yeah. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I said, hey, remember Justin? He was your roommate. Yeah, that's how he introduces <laughs> me to his kids. Like, his son, Jax, clearly remembers me yeah. because he's, he, he was six at the time. Yeah. And I actually had to, like, babysit him, which is, like, a really funny story. I. <laughs> So, like, Tom had to leave the house for no more than an hour, I want to say. And people who know me, people who listen to this podcast who know me, um, know that, like, my opinion on, like, me personally having kids, like, yeah. you know it yeah, as yeah. well. So, it's like, they don't necessarily, it's not like they don't trust me, with their kids are watching them. I'm very, like, I'm an adult, I can watch a child. <laughs> but, like, it's funny when I'm aware of how much people don't trust me, <laughs> so... Mind you, I still haven't even known him and his wife for a year yet. I just moved in with them. Maybe it might have been like two or three months in. Right. And he had to go do something really important. I'm in the house. His son, you know, obviously can't be left alone. But like when he was like, yo, man, are you doing anything right now? And I'm just sitting in my room like watching TV. Fucking like, watching YouTube and something, shit. Yeah, like always. And I'm just like, nah, man, I'm, I'm not doing anything. What's up? And he was like, yo. If you if you're comfortable with it, like when they start giving me the whole comfortable, if you're comfortable, uh, you already you know right? something's coming. I'm like, I'm like, damn, dude, they really don't fucking trust me. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't trust you. I don't think. I don't know if you yeah, trust if I, yourself. Yeah, that's the, and that's that's the funny part. And I'm just if like, I didn't trust you, I wouldn't ask you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I I appreciate it. Like they were like, are you comfortable? Because I and think my Carissa, son, I think Carissa did it with Joella once, which is even more of a responsibility because at the time she wasn't even two; yeah. she was like one and a half. But that was like oh. for like twenty minutes. That was, yeah, that was super. <laughs> it's like, yo, Tom's not gonna be home yet. I gotta leave. Yeah, she's, she's like, Justin, in. can you just watch her? And I'm like, yeah, I, I'm, a, I got it. But like, yeah, it's I'm, so funny to see like 
Justin has no type of like responsibility like that yet. So let's just make sure he gets it right. And <laughs> like, a, this, a six-year-old and a two-year-old are very different. Oh, no, I like, understand that. And my fully. son, my son is like the easiest. Yeah, he's, he's dude. Me. So what? Me and his son wind up doing was just playing PS3. I was just like, Yo, Jax, you want to hop on the PS3 real quick? What? What you he was play? Like, sure. Um, Mod Nation Racers. It was some that, random. That, that's a racing dope game. game. Yeah, I have that game. We had yeah, we built characters and then we raced them. That's it. That's it. I think that's <laughs> that how we got it. started with Rocket League. Yeah. Oh, Rocket League's dope. Man. Yeah, it's Rocket. free now. Yeah. Free for really? everybody. Yeah. So if you don't have it, yeah, you can download oh, I'm it. Rocket League's dope. Yeah, I was game. I was heavy. That's into a good it. like gameplay game too. Yeah, I was heavy in it for like two years. I remember that. And then now, well, since Warzone. All right, so let's the, if we're gonna just go back into that, it's like Twisted Metal. Yo, if we're gonna go old school, we're doing so, an old school episode. Twisted Metal. That's me and you. It, like Need shape. for Speed too. Need for Speed goes back back in the day. Dude, Hopper Suit was mine. Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer. Oh my God, the demo disc you get for the yeah, PS One. Yeah, Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer. We're going back old school. Did what you else? ever? Um, fuck. What we else? could even say Tech, and we could say Mortal Kombat. We could say. I, I messed with Mortal Kombat. I was well on there. What was Sega like, Virtual Fighter? Virtual Fighter. Yeah. So uh, what, what, what the was arcade and the Dreamcast? Sega Saturn. What, what was your guys' first system? Uh, mine was a Sega Genesis that my uncle handed down to me. I think it was Genesis too. Bro, Genesis had classic game. That that's like I, I know I've I've always said it like Sega versus Super Nintendo. Justin is the gamer between like I've ne- I've always played games, but I've never been a gamer. So, it, but it's like with Sega Genesis, I was a young kid. I got introduced to it. NBA Jam yeah, on the NBA Genesis, classic. it was a classic. On Super Nintendo too. Yeah, uh, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, I thought that was. A, I always thought that was exclusive. They did a lot of dual releases. Um, Mortal yeah, Kombat. My brother had it for it. I remember playing Spider Man on Sega. That was dope. Bro, the one with Carnage. Mm-hmm. Bro, dope. Sonic Two. Uh, Sonic. Three. Sonic I, Three is my favorite. I love like, Sonic I remember Two. Playing Sonic on Dreamcast too. That was fun. Sonic Three. Oh my god. Dreamcast yep. when it came out, NBA Two K. Iverson was like the first four or five covers. Yeah, yeah he he had them like so, f- five years in yeah. a row. Dude. No one else did that. No name one. another. Name another athlete ever did that. Did T.O. I'll do wait. It? No. Fuck no. ESPN 2K didn't last that long. Whack. I do, I do remember he was like on 2K5, I think, or yeah, 6. I think was Whack. <laughs> but 2K, when it first came out on Dreamcast, was way different than live. Shout out to NBA Live. Live was that game live for a while. over for a little bit, but then 2K well, dominated. NBA, no, now. NBA Live was the shit. That's what I'm saying. It dominated for a while. But then when 2K came out, the graphics were just on another level. The, it was the customization and, and the authenticity. And then you could play outside. Yeah. 2K brought out the outdoor courts. That so, was, right, so, that's so, what changed the game. Well, So what was your personal favorite live? Because mine, mine was 2004 like, with Vince Carter on the cover. I feel like 98 is just sticking in my mind. I don't know why. <sighs> throwback, bro. I nine. don't know why, but 98. I'm going to think of I, NBA Live 98. Just, who, who was on the cover of that? Do you I remember don't any know. idea? I bro, don't know, I but. think I literally. Ha- oh, no. Damn, you about to pull out the live right now? I believe I have NBA Live 98. Uh, for oh, some what? reason, for bro. some reason, that. Yes. that oh, that, no, no. I have 96. I was going to say... Oh, 90, see, I that, didn't even know it was that's, around that that's time. That's good, yeah, too. NBA Live 96. Does it show who's on the cover? Nah, this is just the CD. It's the. It's just a basketball. I you, remember... You uh, Tim Hardaway. Don't step on that. I got you. Tim Hardaway Sr. is on Senior. 98. What? Yeah. He had Jeez. the killer crossover, boy. Yo, who's on 96? Look who up was on 96. Better be Iverson. Nah, he oh, was a rookie probably, at the time, though. Jordan. Nah. Jo- I don't think Jordan time, ever lent his baby, license. Oh, baby. creative player. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was ninety six. Number, he was the creative player. Yeah, Shaq. Shaq was on ninety six. That, that was that still Magic Shaq. Yeah, he didn't get traded to the Lakers till like what ninety eight. Also, NBA Live ninety nine sticking in my head too. Ninety nine. Let me see. Ninety six is my who's, that, who, nah, who's on ninety nine? What was my favorite NBA Live? I really can't remember. Oh, I think this is the one then. Antoine Walker is ninety nine. <laughs> this is the one I was I've, thinking. I've never about. even seen some of those covers. Before. For some reason, is it's ninety nine because I was thinking us uh, uh, Antoine Walker before. I remember my uh, first experience with Live ever was in two thousand one. I remember it was KG on the cover and Montel Jordan. Uh, release like a exclusive version, like an exclusive NBA Live intro. What the fuck? It was like I also NBA like, Live 2000 with Tim right. Duncan. <laughs> Just wanna get Tim it Duncan's on, on tonight. Tim Timmy Duncan, D? he was on 2000. Timmy D is that guy, man. Yeah, 2001 KG. 2002 was Francis. I remember that TV franchise. Damn, which one? O three, oh. I can't remember. I didn't have O three. Oh. O four was uh, Vince Carter. 
Oh five was mellow. J Kid. J Kid was on oh uh Oh three. Yeah. Oh, he's on three, okay. That's what it was. Okay. That For some reason O three was sticking out in my mind. I was like, did I have that one? Oh five is mellow. Mellow. Oh six, I I don't know. Was that T Mac or was he O seven? I don't know. D Wade. Uh T Mac had to be O seven then. And that was the last NBA live that I had. I had T Mac O seven. I had NBA Live O nine and I think that was Tony Tony uh, Parker. Tony Parker. Tony Parker. Oh wait. Agent Zero. Yeah, O nine was Tony Tony Parker, right? Yep. Yeah, I had 09. 09 was garbage. <laughs> I think that's when we stopped buying it. Well, yeah, that was the last one I bought, and then the next one I bought was 2K10 that had Kobe, that had Kobe on it. I'm so mad I saw it. And Live 10 had Dwight. Yeah, that was when he went Superman. Mm-hmm. Then you remember how they rebooted it at one point, and it was like for one year it was NBA Elite, and it was with Kevin Durant on the cover. Yeah, and then I think it was Elite 12. It didn't even sell. And then they, they, it's like every few years they'll try to b- resurrect the franchise. Cause I think Dame Lillard was on NBA Live like 18 or 19 well, they, or whatever. they try to bring it back to give some competition to 2K because 2K dominated after 2K10. At this point, no well, one what is about, overthrowing 2K. What about Grand Theft Auto? Bro, I have the first one right here. Tony Hawk. I I have Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, 4, Underground 1, and 2. Isn't 3 is the one everyone NBA loves, Street. right? No, 2. That's 2, two okay. Mm-hmm. NBA Street, NFL Blitz. Bro, did you play NBA Street? Yeah. NFL Blitz? Did you play NBA Street? Yeah. Are I'll, you fucking with me right now? Will, what? All right, next time you're Do you know who here. I am? Next time you're over here. It's I have Tom, NBA bro. Street 1 and 2. Do you know what sport I play? Yeah, but I didn't know you played video games, remember? Like, I was the nerd Vi- in the NBA Street had the firest soundtrack. Volume two, I think, had the best I had, soundtrack. I had one into. We're playing next right. time. Do you remember right. any songs on there? Like, what? well, not. It started off with like, they had like they had like, like Gangstar, yeah. yeah. It's not, that's how the intro was. Oh, they reminisce over you. Plus. Yes, was what? the intro? That's the intro. Ooh, that's the intro. Yeah, he's he's old school New York. So NBA, he would trash you when you were garbage too. He would just make fun of you. Soundtrack. It's a thing. People search it. Yeah. yeah. Pete Rocket CL Smooth. Troy. Oh, classic joint. Black Sheep. If I ever played that, Lords it would of just the get copyrighted right away, though. Lords of the really Underground. Care. Dilated Peoples. Dude, yeah. so this is like rapidy rap right yeah. here. It's a, it's a, it's it a was old rap. school hip hop. Dude, EA, EA. This, this, this game. Wait, Dr. On. J on the cover. Yeah. Dr. J, Jordan. And the uh, street ball player. Yeah, that's when Jordan finally started giving up his the, his, the license of his fucking name. MC Light, uh, Benzino Wack, Eric Sherman, Redman, Nate Dog, Eve, Mef Bleak. What? We're talking about a video game right here? I remember the NBA Live 2004 soundtrack. What I appreciated was whenever like hot artists would remix their singles to match the game and put like sports names like in basketball it. reference in there like NBA Live 2004 I remember Freeway a uh, remix Flipside and it was the NBA Live 2004 remix Sean Paul remixed um, uh, Get Busy I yeah. think uh, what was the some, some other, classic ones what was the other basketball <coughs> street was it and one? Yo, um, Bro, you, I have no, no, that. No, hold on, I have that. Hold on, I'm about to name drop one right now. Street hoops or something like that. Yo, all right. I have it. It has like hot. It has all like the um. Yeah. And, it has like hot sauce. Right. Yeah. I have that good. Yo, that is crazy that you have that. Do you guys remember I NBA had a crazy soundtrack too? Do you guys remember NBA Ballers? Stephon yeah. Marbury was in the cover and that there was, was a chain. With he the had chain a chain hanging. With a chain. And it's that like, was um like that was their attempt to try to like copy NBA Street. Mm-hmm. Bro, that it, that game was crazy. Like. It's like every you're time to, you're supposed to be like a like build your own like yeah. empire yeah. or something like that. Yeah, you would face these different. It's like I think Jordan was at the it was very like end. Def Jam Vendetta. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. made by those people actually. Yeah, yeah. and it's like you would uh, play one on one against like different NBA competitors, and it's like every time you beat them, you get more money, you get a bigger crib, yeah. yeah. bigger, uh, more jewelry, and all that. Yeah, they were trying to outplay uh, NBA Street. Yeah, it was M- never gonna happen. NBA Street. NBA flawless. Street was, yo. I mean, V three was. All right, but NBA Street one and two, like two was like Lawless. peak, yeah. and then three was like all right, and then they did um they didn't call it four. I think it was like NBA Street something and home court or something. Yo, but yeah, they, so they, they had mellow on the. Front. They had a FIFA Street too. Which FIFA was Street dope. was nice. I had both NFL streets, bro. Yo, NFL Blitz. Did Shout you, out NFL I have, Blitz. I have Blitz too. Yo, we're playing. 
I didn't know you played these games, man. Come yeah, on, you're man. like finding out about this right Yo, now. I really didn't all, know all that air. he was a retro when you play. Uh, yeah, NBA Street Home Court had Melo on the front. Garbage. That game was garbage. What was the other game though? Home Showdown. What was that? Is that from mobile or some shit? Yo, speaking of Def Jam, did you guys hear that they're rebooting uh, or coming out the new like Def Jam Vendetta type of game, new Def Jam video game? Yeah, I think, and they're putting like new hip hop artists in it. Yeah. That would be pretty cool, like to have this in current day. Uh, yeah, it'd be alright. I mean, I wouldn't play it. I wouldn't, yeah. But yeah, EA Sports Big, That's that was the, you know, the division of EA Sports that made all of these fucking dope-ass games. And then now they, they just disappeared. Just like, like the urbanized they version need of all the to sports bring, games. They, they need to bring back NBA Street or NFL Street. Even FIFA Street, dude. FIFA Street was tight. I like, feel like it would still do well in today's game. It, like we want, like people want it. Like they made the um the SSX snowboarding series, like that me and Nick were talking about that one time. Yeah, bro, EA Big was putting out like some of the best sports games because they, they were just fun party games, and like and and you could play Street them by hoops. yourself. This is what you have. Yep, I have that game for the GameCube. We're playing. Let, let, let me see. I think that's AO yeah. on the cover. It has yeah, AO okay. hot sauce. Professor, um, half no. man, half amazing. Half man, half amazing. Ballaholic. No, Yo, this, no. uh, this, this, that. this soundtrack too. Hold on, because they they tried to go up against NBA Street, but they failed though. But it was it was it was no, a the weird, game was fun. The game was fun, but it was it had weird mechanics. Had Feral Monch, Feral Monch, Feral Monch, <laughs> Most Def, <laughs> Nate Dog. Oh no. Oh no, that shit fire. F- Farrell Munch definitely pr- produced that soundtrack if he's on there that many times. Bro, yeah. Street Hoops, I have that game. I have both NBA I have NBA I have actually have NBA Street 1, 2 and 3. Um I have NBA Street 1 for the GameCube and then 2 and 3 for the Xbox. Well, then even like Grand Theft Auto like I remember like I got the original the I top remember, down. I remember Royce to 59 being on the uh, um the original Grand Theft, not, the original top down GTA. I, I, I'm pretty sure Grand. Or are you talking about GTA Three? Let me see. San Andreas, the one with they had all the New Jack swing songs, right? Well, yeah, because it was supposed to take place in the '90s or 1992 to be exact, um, or '91. Yeah, Vice City was the '80s. San Andreas was the '90s, early '90s, and then Grand Theft Auto Three was like 2001. Um, yeah. Yeah, GTA, yeah, GTA 3, Vice City, San Andreas, then 4, that's when you were Nikolai or something, and you were just, you were pretty much in New York City in GTA 4. I feel like with, in this era of games too, even though I wasn't heavy into them, like my younger brother, he would buy a lot of yeah. these games, because f- he was younger at the time, I feel like even the cartoon games were good, like Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. That got remastered. It, it got remastered yeah. recently, like Fairly Odd Parents had a game, Shrek, it's like even like the... The games that they were coming out for kids, they they were still fun. Like Rocket Power Beach Bandits, we used to play that all well, the Rocket time Power growing up. Was dope. Did mm-hmm. you ever have that game, Rocket no. Power Beach Bandits? It was just a it dope, was really cool. Dope cartoon. I remember the movie. The movie was shit. Yeah, so it was just like man, man just I, like you don't see that anymore. Really, like they'll make video games to gear towards kids, but like back then, everything had a video game. It just seemed like everything was fun and yeah. entertaining at the time as well. I just feel like they don't do that too much anymore because they don't get a lot of. Um, a lot of recognition, and a lot of people don't buy it because they normally turn out to be shit. I'm Back. the king. What happened? What are you playing? What? Yeah. I'm not going to play it too much. Was that from Street Hoops? GTA 3. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it is GTA 3. That was Royce? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I do I remember that I know. song. I remember getting in the sports car and that shit come out, switching <laughs> the station. <laughs> So was in the station. I that shit came the station. On. I think it was like Liberty Radio or something. Liberty, exactly. Yeah, yep. And I didn't realize it was him until like years later. You're like, that was Royce the whole Because I didn't know who Royce was at the time. And Damn. now I know he's one of my favorite rappers. Bro. Probably one of the best lyricists alive. Yeah. Probably number two. Yeah. I would I would agree. He's definitely top he, three category of lyricists. Yeah, he's tough, man. But um, it was just crazy. The soundtracks back in the day. They had way better. Because I feel like it was a lot... Well, no, they still do it today. I because, think like, I think there was a recent game. I forget what game it was, but it had a decent soundtrack. A lot of FIFA games have good soundtracks. But the NBA Street Volume Two, when you start off with See How Smooth, like P Rock, you can't. I actually, I don't know if I ever told this story, but like in, in regards to soundtracks, uh, the soundtrack of NBA Live 09 
was one of the primary reasons I became a, a Kid Cudi fan. Yeah, I, may, because, I remember this um, story. So me and my one boy, uh, uh, Karan, shout out Balky up in Canada, we would play that game like religiously every single day. Mm-hmm. And we were playing like the practice mode and like the gym and shit. And you can just have on any music and you just hear it like clear. No, like no, no crowds overpowering it and shit. Ooh, Cuddy spa- Oh, that was just spasm. That was nerd. Oh, well, no, Cuddy did a remix. Uh, not a remix, a freestyle over oh, that. Oh, wow. It's called Cuddy Spasm. Anyway, yeah, so speaking of that Cuddy, album, Kid that Cuddy, song is crazy. Kid Cuddy's Day and Night was on NBA Live 09, I believe, soundtrack. Public Enemy? What was it? Damian Marley? These oh, are all on the GTA soundtrack? 3? No, on NBA Live. NBA Live what? 09. It says that Damian Marley's on there. Was do you see Day and Night on there? It was like Welcome to Jamrock. I think Welcome to Jamrock was on there. That was like his biggest hit. Damian and Stephen Marley, The Mission. Oh, never mind. Nah, I haven't heard that one. You can play it for a second. Nah. Yeah, All right. But do you nah. see Kid Cudi on there? Uh, I'm, I'm, pre- I'm, I'm like ninety percent sure. Yeah, Day and Night. Yup. Spaz. Um. Who else? Yeah, Damian Marley, The Mission. I do remember this. Yeah, yeah, I know that song. But that yeah, song. that shit. I would just go into the sound, the uh, soundtrack settings, and just leave day and night as the only one, and it would just be on repeat. I did that too before, yeah. Bro. Like, and I became a huge Kid Cudi fan after that. I mean, I heard about him before. <clears throat> my buddy Dicer who told me about him because he came back from like his school up north. He was like, "Yo, this guy just told me about the song called Maui Wowie because like we used to be heavy smokers back then." And I was like, what? And then I he played that. I was like, oh, this shit's kind of funny. And then I heard Day and Night. I was like, is this the same guy? And I just fucking fell in love with Day and Night and became a huge fucking Kid Cudi fan. It's crazy because NBA Street 2 had a lot of Just Blaze on it. Just Blaze, I feel like He was like the hottest curated. producer at... Yeah, no, he did. He definitely curated that whole soundtrack. I, I appreciate the fact, though, how like now with the NBA 2 case, how they always have someone to curate the soundtrack to go along... like. Like how they had LeBron do it the one year. Dame Lillard is doing it for this upcoming, or it's out now, but yeah, yeah, he did it for this year, just picking the soundtrack. Two K thirteen had a goat soundtrack in my I opinion. I remember it. It was uh, I just starting. Remember you taking out. Starting out with Jay Z's public service announcement. Uh, Victory was that, on there. Actually, now I do remember that because the bounce. That was the year like Brooklyn. Uh, the Nets went to Brooklyn, and then. It, they had it would Jay-Z open up, curated. allow me to reintroduce myself, and then, yeah, I would get really hyped and just give you L's. Hey, uh, mm. hey man, we, st- we still got to ha- make that happen on the it will happen. gameplay at some point. $100. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you really want to get, make that back. I'm getting that 100 back, boy. Somehow, some way. Some way, I'm getting it back. <laughs> when you were at Dave and Buster's the other day, you proposed the best of seven a one on one best of seven. I might. You're at Dave and. Oh, sorry, not sorry. Chicky and Pete's. What the fuck Chicky are you and Pete's. Talking about? You propose a one on one best of seven. I might take you up on that. Hundred dollars. Yeah. Wow. At, All right. At this point, it's like I I have nothing to lose. I already gained my hundred, so it's like I could either gain another hundred or, or lose this one. So. I mean, if you look at it that way, sure. I tried to look at the uh the cup half full. Oh yeah, not in the beginning you didn't. But. And this. The soundtrack is taking. <laughs> bro, you're just like so locked he's into that, that yeah, soundtrack he's like right just now. Stuck it's looking just at the like it's bringing, it's running really like riding my bike to my boys' crib and playing basketball with the disc man. Ooh, I wish I still had mine. It was a Sony blue one, Sony blue one. Mm. I think it'll be fine, actually. That's a just. Blues. I've been re- I've been reading like if you play like music. Well, they Over. do the reaction videos. They do like well, ten no, seconds. I was talking to him. I was like, I don't remember like what it is, like how they get those loopholes. I mean, like no, we playing just, music like over like an actual like the microphone and not like playing it through the actual system. Like, like what we were just listening to with yeah. the, you know in the other episode with the XSL freshman. If those were like actual songs by artists, and I just recorded that. It would immediately go through the yeah. YouTube system like, oh, this is copyright music. You can't, you know, we're, we're not going to take it down, but it's like you can't monetize it. I don't make money anyway. But um, you th- no, like, I think you can just play it a little bit. We can't do full songs. I don't think full songs. It would yeah. just have to be like samples. It could be like clips or something like that. Yeah, because yeah. when they do the, they do the, 
the like the reaction video to do like some of them cut like, I need 10, to, 12 seconds. Yeah, I need to read into like how they get by that system. Just to make like, sure. You know like music we'll reviewers. Because be I would love to review albums. I would love to do that. Yeah. Like, yeah. fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> uh, you got it. Oh. That sound, bro. That's that's, th- that's classic. Blaze. Yeah, classic Just yeah, Blaze. Yeah, dude. That, those synth beats, bro. The synth horns, whatever the fuck those are. Did you guys used to rent your game out, your games out at Blockbuster? Yeah. Like Blockbuster Video. What's that one? Oh. Chief, Rock, Chief Rocker. Yeah. Number one, Chief Rocker. It was either Blockbuster or there was this place called West Coast Video. I know you know that place. Yeah, West Willem, Coast. Bro. Yep. The, that was in the mall, right? Didn't they used to have stores uh, in the mall? They, uh, Sun West Coast, Coast Video was a Sun chain. Coast. Sun That's Coast what it was. Sun Coast. This was West Coast Video. Oh, Sun Coast was a chain. West Coast wasn't. West, yeah, it was just one. There's Blockbuster and then Edgewater also had Video Stars. Yeah, I remember that one. Mm-hmm. But West Coast, that was my store because we lived right around the corner past that little baseball field. Where go, to I Gata- used to go to Gatano's. I used to play Little League Baseball get your there. Cheese steak. And then oh, go to Gatanos. go to West Coast Video, get the video games. Bro, I'm about to make a late night order, bro. Uh, Actually, it's, it's one a.m. Well, they're they're uh, definitely uh, holy shit. shit. It is one. Oh my shit. god. Do you have anything else? <laughs> Not oh, old Not. school. Like what else? We yeah. talking about video games. We could talk about sports, music. We didn't even get into music like that. Oh, bro, that that could be a whole shit, like two bro. hour tangent yeah, right there. I go Mob Deep. I go Wu Tang. I go Gangstar. I go Nas. I go. We can get into a whole. I go all of that. That's where I'm at. That's yeah. my, that's my. Whole that's what's vibe. It, like. You're the true hip hop out of the three of us. You're yeah, you're, you're the true hip hop. That's where I go. Yeah. When it comes to '90s music, I'm way more on the R&B side of things. Yeah, like I, I love the '90s R&B. Hell no, it's shut. Watch your mouth. <laughs> And and like I Can said, Can we talk? Uh, like for I, a minute. Like I Get said the last time when I was on here, besides the last episode, but yeah. before me and my wife randomly just started listening to like old school R and B shit. Oh yeah, I got a playlist ready to like go. Like old school like shit I forgot about. Like I like the old school shit like like what is it? I'm, I'm, I'm about McKnight. to get excited. Let's let's yeah, hear. Yeah, I don't even. Brian McKnight. Not like, even Brian McKnight. SWV? I like I like. I was about to say that SWV. I like the old school shit where they mixed the R and B with Black the hip hop. Like Biggie was on the one track with the uh, total. Total, yeah. Ooh. That's a classic. That's yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah, and then TLC. Yeah, it's just yo, I, you know what I'm really into? Fucking Maya and Jada Kiss, like. Like I like. What did hey, what did Action Bronson say? You won't forget me like a thick Maya. <laughs> Maya was that. Maya was the Ella Maya of today. Of back then, I mean. Ella May. Ella first. whatever. They get her, get her yeah. name right. Like, Ella <laughs> May has that, like, doll face. That's what Maya was for the 90s. Like, it was just something about Maya back then. Maya, Brandy, Monica. Well, Brandy and Monica, they were like... Ooh, oh. yo, this joint right here. What was this? That's it's, Touch Me, Tease Me. Touch Me, Tease Me. Like, uh, like I like Case. that shit. Like, Case, Foxy, and Mary J. Like, Ooh. I like Touch how they used to mix it up. Touch Me, Tease Me. And then... Oh, that's, a, that's the joint. I was just in that one joint with fucking Method Man and Mary J. But you're all... I actually yeah. don't like that song that you're much. You're a bitch. Now you're a big bitch. Ooh, Ooh. Yo, 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 that whole, bro, I'm gonna say this right now, I've said this on here before, he that whole album. Confessions album is my favorite that's album so, of all time, including the given, deluxe version, might have just given him an that joint right there, I wasn't a big fan of it when I was younger, but I love that joint, bro, album? I was like, I was, well, I was 13 years old when you it dropped, I didn't been, appreciate it, you shouldn't have been listening to I didn't that appreciate it back then, <laughs> but I do now, that joint is crazy, with Jada Kiss on the remix, it's mm, crazy, mm. it's crazy, oh my god, throwback I did the free. I uh, wrote the freestyle verse to that a couple years ago. Uh, uh, come on now, that shit is crazy. That has what like that has one of the best three tracks in a row that I've ever heard. Cause they, uh, superstar, truth hurts, and simple things. This is the joint, bro. Give me all the chicken heads from Pasadena to that's, Medina. That's like, oh, come on, that's bro. That's the vibe right there. That's what I like. That, that beat shit. everything. Yeah, it's oh, perfect. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, they don't sample soul like that anymore. I no. think it's starting to come back though. They do a lot of remakes now though. <coughs> I feel like they do get sa- like it's the beats get back. sampled. It's and starting stuff. to come back. Um, yeah, dude, '90s music. I I've been getting back into like '90s dance music. Like, come on now, the Jodeci "Come and Talk to Me" remix. You're gonna yeah. have him blow out my yeah, microphone, dude. Crazy. I'm looking at his uh, shit spike. It's I'm insane. sorry, I'm sorry. You can push it back a little. Are you I'm on the like, fourth dot or the? I'm, th- I'm on the third. I'm on the third. Okay. Tony, Tony, Tony. Yeah, you Jodeci, can push it back a little. New bit. edition. You're spiking heavy. <laughs> come on now. Yeah, come on, bro. So you keep playing it for him, bro. He's gonna fucking be like, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yo, try to drive home. 
<laughs> no, yo, stop that. Yo, the next girl I date, though, better be into 90s R&B. Because if you're not, it's not going to work. Bro, what you do is when you pick her up to yeah. go on your date, you play a playlist. You have a playlist ready? I, I don't. I just play random. I have my cookout playlist, which is a lot of 90s R&B. Ooh, shit. Wait. Is it a like an actual streaming playlist or? It's on my Apple Music. That's how you gotta oh, test yeah, them. You gotta Music. see if they know yeah, what it is. Yeah, you just like play that. I was literally about to say that. I was like, whatever, whatever. Damn, whatever. Next girl, like I'm driving around and I just throw on this playlist. If you don't start singing, yo, oh! shout out, shout out, Bane, shout out, Bane. That's his joint, Bane. Bro, there was times we would get ready to go out. And Bane was nowhere to be found. Bane plays the best music in that house. Zamp would be like, yo, watch this. Yeah. And he comes Candy out. Candy Rain, just like, like, he would just float down. He would float down the stairs. Bane. After the night. This is a yo, classic. It's crazy. Don't All tell your girl around crazy. me. True play for real. That's my nigga. For real. No, he says for real. You know that? For, for real. Yeah. You just he says, he real. says both. I think he says for. Get it right. Yeah. I think he says both. He I does say that, Pharrell because you don't Pharrell. even know, man. It's Bro, that, that's, that's, I love that joint. You don't have Wait, to play the classic. beginning of it. I wonder if he does the four beat thing. This? No, no, no. The, the beginning of that's um, a little too oh. slow. I'm more. No, he I, he, this might have been before he started doing that. So pause it. So uh, Shades brought up this thing to me like a week, or two weeks ago. That apparently, uh, uh, I Pharrell. Said shit. Yeah, Pharrell. Has this um, signature intro that he does to all of his beats, where he he repeats the uh, like a like a bass beat or something uh, four times. Hmm. The first line, the instrument is like. Tch, tch, yeah, he does like a four tch, beat. It's like, like a count, like a count in, like Not one, every time. two, almost uh, every, like um, I've been noticing it ever since he pointed it out. I almost notice it in every hmm. produced like Pharrell produced track or Neptune's produced track. He does like a one, two, three. Four and then oh. bam. I'm, I'm gonna play. In. I'm gonna play just a sample real quick. Just so. Like there's that Ariana Grande song I showed you the other day. I think this is probably the most known one. Oh come on, that will get me in my feelings real quick. <laughs> this joint <Wow>. right here. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. So, so he, does like four four times. Beat, yeah, he does like four a four beat. He does like a four beat count in. Yeah, it's fucking sick. I, I noticed it because uh, I saw a YouTube video that came up on my recommended, and Almost, it just. Well, it doesn't seem like you did it there. Because Pharrell did produce that track. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I remember Ludacris was on the remix to that too. Oh, you gotta be smart about it. Yeah. Celebration we can just go. With it's so guy. many songs. I'm probably making, I'm probably getting mad numbers thrown in the comments right now. Nah, it's all me, bro. Go it's ahead, hit me. that false title for me real quick. I want to hear it. Like I just hit, like I just hit it right now. You hear it. Oh, for Sorry, I got song? peanut butter in my mouth. False. I like the sped up version that Mustard did. Ooh, Stilo? Stilo, bro, come That's on. That's crazy. Stilo's 702? tough. Stilo's tough. Oh, my God, man. My favorite. Human nature. Yeah. Yeah, you know, my, that's my tough. favorite Michael Jackson sample. In the fact that Big Sean just made it 20 times better. Yeah, he went crazy with that. Press on. Stress on. I get this shit. Blood. <laughs> Mary J. Bro, I got my whole 90s playlist ready to go. Who's that? Erica. Erica, true. Yeah, it's I never really listen to Erica. I'm, I need to give her like a full blown list. Yeah, I never really listen to Erica Body Leader. It's an acquired different. taste. Yeah, I guess. it's different. Yeah. Like, I heard it growing up, but I never literally listened to her. Like, I like, I like, I like a lot of her songs. The most recent that I like, it's not recent, but the window seat. Oh, the one where she's like butt naked the whole time? That's a vibe mm. right there. There's I was like, wait, wait, wait. I was like, ooh. There's a remix with Ross and Ross always gets back on those lounge that, beats, bro. That is a perfect Ross beat, and he goes crazy with her voice. I'm it's perfect. I'm Ross glad, has amazing production. I'm no, I'm glad he found that lane because in the beginning, I never liked Rick Ross, but up and not even I, with the hits. He doesn't no. always do it though. He he does that. But once he found a that, a lot of the time, yeah. once he found that luxury rap style, you know, like because in the beginning, I didn't really like him. 
Listen like, to once Rick- he started like getting or like once he started finding that sound like Aston Martin music. Yeah. Like that's that sound that he belongs on. Because Look, like he has that like that luxury that shit. That luxury yeah. vo- like yeah. that just that voice where the mm-hmm. Listening to Rick Ross makes you just want to go to South Beach and drive around with the windows down while the sun is setting. Makes you want to do a like line of coke. A star, like that shit goes hard. Well, no, I, I do like that. Yeah, yeah. When he, he, goes goes hard. he got some turn up songs. I'm, song? I'm not a star. It's called I'm not a star. Yeah. I'm not a star. Somebody lied. I got a chopper in the car. Yeah. If I die today, remember me like John Lennon. Yeah, 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 oh, that's the one crazy. that uh, Lil Wayne samples it in John, and he brings Rick Ross on it from Carter Four. Well, but wait, that was Rick Ross's joint first. But who's isn't somebody on that with him? It's him and well, him and Wayne on Carter Four. That's what I was saying. I was Lil like, Wayne has a song called John. If I die today, but it was Rick Ross's song first. Okay. Yeah, he sampled it. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. I was like, wait, I thought I heard that first from Lil, Lil Wayne. But it was actually Ross's. Yeah. Good to know. Nah, bro. Like, if we if we go in super deep in the music, that could be ours right here. Ooh, there it is. That now we're just getting we're just getting. Now th- uh, this is about to just be in the bag right now. Like I mean, we could do this bag. all night, man. Yes, yeah, sh- yeah. but throwback shit is always better, man. Nineties shit, everything is better. Shows we get into shows. Martin. That's what I said. Fresh like, Prince. That's what I'm saying. The whole Fresh like, Prince. This is this is like a whole Martin. Martin right this there. is a Martin vibe right here, and it's just. I don't know everything about '90s sitcoms. All the black sitcoms in the '90s were. It just it made time. everything seem a lot more relatable. Yeah. Like everything now, like TV show wise, it's not as relatable. It's just very. Yeah. It's very weird and specific. It's more real, more quote unquote real like TV, which is bullshit. fucking bullshit. Yeah, but bullshit. I, I think though that also shows that like how crazy the times have gotten though, because the '90s were way more lighthearted. Like they. Talked about current issues, but it's just like now in 2020, in the 2000s, it, 2019, 20, there's like, way more going on in the world. So it, the it TV just, shows it, are going to reflect that. It just comes that. down to because we're exposed to everything. Well, like in the it, 90s, we weren't. You yeah, know, there was no internet. There was no, no internet. internet. It was just you got everything from a newspaper or the news. So now everything's like sex bias. Like everything goes towards sex. Like everything is. Like, PPs. Yeah, it's all. Everything's controversial yeah, too. Everything like, is mature. Yeah, yeah, it's just. But yeah, go but on. 90s is Martin. Will uh, Fresh Prince, Jamie Foxx, Family Matters, Bernie Mac, Family Matters, Bernie Mac. Like, Steve Harvey Show, Steve Harvey Show. We talked about this in like one of the early episodes, yeah. naming all these. All them, Bullet I, actually, I enjoyed the Parkers. Remember Bullet The Parkers was cool. Parkers, Girlfriends, Moesha. I, I mess with girlfriends. Sister, sister, was Moesha, sister, dope. sister, smart sister, guy, smart guy. I used to watch Even Stevens back. Ooh, in the day. yeah, I mess with Even Stevens. Shia LaBeouf, shout out Shia. That's Shia LaBeouf Shia got his fuck with him. Crazy. Yeah, I fuck with him. But I love yeah. how he doesn't get what, yeah, what, what was the, uh, Jet Jackson on the Disney Channel? Yo, you know that uh, the dude who played Jet Jackson committed suicide like years ago? Uh, I mean, R.I.P. Lee Thompson Holly, Young, man. It's a Hollywood shit. Hollywood's dark, but we're not going to get into that. But yeah, I mean. House but, Party, bro. Best one of the best 90s yeah, movies House kid Party. played. Yeah. I actually, I think I liked House Party too, but I heard they were. Really? I heard they. Oh, my reboot. I'm not going to get into that. I don't know. I heard they were. Intimate with each other oh, at some point. Maybe. I don't Who know. <laughs> that's 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 in a whole other level, but I like to just think of them as like just kid and play. <laughs> Two dudes who kick their the, legs together. The, the kick step, that's that's how I'm viewing them. Okay. Martin was their DJ. Switch Oh yeah, I forgot. Shout that was Martin. classic. Switch. What out but they, even like just T G I Friday in, in the nineties, just like the I Friday, never really went there as a kid. That was Friday, Full House, wasn't it? Like, well, no, it was it? like Friday night would be like Sabrina. Remember Sabrina, Sabrina was that? Sh- yeah, that was Or fire. Clarissa Explains It All. Clarissa, bro. yeah, it was a whole vibe back then. And then you get into the early, like, the, like the daytime shows like uh, the Springer. Nickelodeon Jones. Oh, like Dora the Explorer? Not even that. No, I'm talking about like... Legends uh, of the Hidden Temple. Hidden Temple, the John Witter. Oh, Guts. Even, even Guts, all that. Guts, Guts and oh, Legends of the Hidden all Temple. That, bro. Hidden Temple's probably my favorite I like, love game Hidden. show. I love Legends. Yeah. Like, I got a fucking t-shirt. Yeah. I would have loved... Oh, my. I would love for them to reboot that. Like, reboot even, that shit. That, no, even that, Saturday that, morning uh, cartoons, like Pokemon. Spider-Man, X-Men. Pokemon. X-Men. Yu-Gi-Oh. X-Men. Jackie X-Men. Chan Adventures. That, <laughs> right. that shit was you're good, though. You're actually fucking right. Jackie Chan cartoon Yo, after, was at the, fire. At the end of every episode, it was Jackie Chan telling you how to like just be good at life. Yeah, he's fire. <laughs> he's fire. Everything with Jackie the Chan movies was were fucking fire. Jackie bro. Chan movies, Jet Li movies. Shout out both of them because they're goats because they're still doing Jackie it. Jackie Chan's um, Who Am I? 
Mm-hmm. Probably my favorite Jackie Chan movie. Yeah, Jackie I Chan. Rush Hour. Uh, what's the joint with the Bronx? What was it called? Um, Rumble in the Bronx. Rumble in the Bronx. Yeah. Fire. <laughs> He's jumping around fire escapes and shit, bro. Effortlessly. Remember uh, Usher's video My Way when he's like with all the graffiti and all that he, shit? He likes it. In, oh, he had wait, the purple whoops. trench coat on or some shit. Oh, Paul. You didn't hear that. Yo, I heard it. Yeah, I heard yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, pause, 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 pause. But yeah, like, you go into all that shit, bro. It's all crazy. I had my old... sus moment, but that right there was your sus moment right there. Yeah. I, I don't, don't want to know. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a man about it. When you were talking about the My Way video, Someone said it was like the Freudian slip. Someone said he, and then I was about to sing, you know, she likes it my way. Oh, but he then, likes it my way. And then way. I said he likes it. I was like, oops. I mean, <laughs> it's all about equality. Here. That's it. It's all about timing, too. Anyway, she likes it. But yeah, just what else? 90s. What else? We got TV shows, music, movies. Name some movies. Bro, I, what's I the movie? Good, Good Burger. Fr- Friday. Good Burger, Friday. Good Burger. What else? Oh my there god! There was a movie with Martin Lawrence and the white guy. Oh, uh, n- nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Fire. That was, that's with the Coolio. Oh, the, the Coolio. I'll see you. Yeah. When fire. This is the ego nineties movie after House Party, above the, the rim. rim. Yeah. Tupac. Goat soundtrack. I watched that movie the other day. Um, a classic movie. Yeah. Bro. I love a Tupac. I think the song, the the one of my favorite Tupac. Pain. Actually, my favorite song is Tupac's Pain. Yeah. Fire. Fire song. That that soundtrack was amazing. H Town had a part time lover on there. And actually, SWV. my boy actually can ball. The boy that was the main character, and he actually had Dwayne a show. Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah a all show. of us. Yeah, he's like, uh, like, you want to talk about dudes that like and that are like sus though? There's so many rumors about Dwayne Martin and Will Smith too. Yeah, that that because and they're, they're associated. They're yeah. yeah. Dwayne Martin, and then they uh, it's Lisa, that Hollywood shit, bro. There's Lisa Ray, <laughs> it gets weird, bro. Lisa that Ray, who was her main co star in all of us, she said that Dwayne Martin ruined her marriage because he became BFFs with her husband. Yeah, they were sucking each other off, probably. Yeah, it was I mean, crazy. Yeah, we're, going, we're going crazy right now, but whatever. But. Dwayne Martin's character, Kyle, <laughs> Kyle Lee Watson, he could ball and above yeah, the rim, like yeah, he was but hooping. his stepdad was shit on him too, low key, without a ball. Chef, he was shooting without a ball, he was dribbling. Bro, it's because no Nutso, man, went through that. Mm-hmm. He fell off the roof, man. That stuck with him. The trauma. What's the other uh, basketball movie besides Above the Rim? Uh, he Got Game. He Got Game. Jesus Shuttlesworth. Um, Jake Shuttlesworth. Wh- Denzel White, White Man Can't Jump. That's a, oh, with that's Wesley pro- Snipes. That's probably my the, favorite basketball movie. Wesley that is, Snipes that is the, the most no. fun. Woody Harrelson. Yeah, Woody Harrelson. That's what the is, funnest one. Yeah. Yeah, what is the, the one with um the, the Wayne's brothers? Yeah, I was about to say that, bro. Yeah. Uh, with Marlon in it. Uh, and they died. With the ghosts. Six, six, six Man. The Six Man. Six Man. The Six Man is underrated. No one talks about that, bro. I love the Six Man. Yeah. Six Man is ghost. That shit's emotional, too. It's a good movie, yeah. I found that like on Encore. He's like, you can do this without me. You don't need me. I'm like, oh, shit. No, don't leave. No. I didn't cry back then, but I, I got cried. kids now. If I watch it now, I'm crying. I cried. Ever since I had kids, I got mad emotional. But let's not get into that. Other 90s movies, <laughs> Three Ninjas yes. was my shit. Ninja Turtles. Uh, Ninja Honey, Turtles I Shrunk shit. the Kids. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. What else? Home Alone. Yes, Fucking, both of them. Yeah. Not the third one. Fuck that new kid. Little ass kid. Yo, I'm going to say this. Babe, Pig in the City. Yeah. I remember watching that as That's a kid. not bad. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> the Mask. Yes, the first one. Yeah. Like pretty much any Jim Carrey movie. Yeah. I know this ain't. I know this ain't the nineties, but it was. It was early. You say, 2000s. honey, I shrunk the kids. Yeah. Malibu's most wanted. That was two thousands though. That was two. Yeah. What, what, what you got, Tom? Chapstick. No. What you got? What's up? What video game you can't afford? Oh, I got Gamecast. <laughs> I can't afford it. That shit right there. He's like, there. there's GameCube and there's Dreamcast. Like, they're saying, I got GameCast, man. I can't afford it. Yo, that fuck? shit. Chapstick, chapstick. What did he say? Hey, traffic, 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 traffic. Looking, looking for, for my chapstick. chapstick. Feeling kind of caustic. There's a full Maverick. Maverick. Yeah. That's movie so fucking stupid. That's, that's probably the best. What else was it? Booty Call? Remember how oh, high? Yeah. Booty, how to be a player? Yeah. There's a lot, man. You got served. I'll say that. I like that that's movie. That's early 2000s. Yeah. 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 What Just else? Just throw it out there, though. You got the, ser- what's the boy? <laughs> What, 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 what you laughing at? I'm just, just thinking about one of their dance intros and Omarion is fucking flailing. Like You want to talk about it's, suspect? It's towards the end. Oh, he's super sus. That one outfit he wore at the VMAs where it was see-through and you see his fucking underwear? That whole B2K shit is B2K, suspect. they were sus, yeah. They were wow. talking about it. That, that is a, if you really dive, dive uh, deep into it with the whole Raz B and Chris Stokes Ta- and yeah, all that stuff. Like, no, but that's that's Hollywood for you. 
I just remember fucking Omar. I just go that's crazy, just, right? That's what just made me laugh. Like that, I went to the theaters with my fucking parents to see that. You, you see well, my mom and my stepdad. Was American Pie nineties or was that early two thousand? It was. I it never went seen into American the Pie. The, the American Pie, the first one, I think was like ninety eight or ninety nine. That's classic, man. Both of them. I, I don't know why I was watching movies as a child. Van Wilder, what was that? That was two thousands. Can that that was fucking you high. Got, yo, you went to you got served with your parents. That's crazy. Well, who? No, were, were, did they like crazy? It? My, no, did they like it though? Did, oh, my were they mom into liked it. it yeah. My 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 boy, shout out my boy Luke. He told me that he watched American Pie with his parents as a kid. As a kid, that's interesting. That's fucking weird. Yeah, I even my dad wouldn't take me to movies like my that. man was fucking a pie. And your parents, you're like watching it with your parents. How old's your? How old's Luke? You're age? My age, oh, so he's on, so he's a couple age, couple of years older than me. So he's what like eleven? That's still weird. That's fucking yeah. weird. But shout out nineties man, just riding your bikes and playing basketball, being outside, man, breathing fresh air. Walkmans, the Friday night combo of Pizza Hut and Blockbuster. Yeah, we used to do we used to do uh, video stars because the Wendy's was right next to it. Mm. Wendy's and video stars. It's still, we used so to ride still. our bikes because it was on the same side of the town. Hit hit uh video stars, rent the video game, hit Wendy's, ride back to my boy's crib that live in the apartments right behind them, both of them, and we'd be just in there chilling. Yeah, shout out Pokemon. And we just call it's we used to whole call vibe in itself. Call girls on the phone, the house phone. Hell yeah! You used to you ever prank call people? Yeah, fuck hell yeah. yeah! We used to just go in the phone. We used book. to be shook trying to call the girls. Be shook. They answered. Her dad no. answers. Be like, oh shit, and hang up. That happened to me once. The first time I ever called a girl was in like. I think like ninth grade. Yeah. Shout really out Manhunt. <laughs> oh, the video game? No, just playing Manhunt. Oh, Manhunt. Life. Yeah, bro. Playing at night, too. Yeah, that real. was back in the day. I would play, yeah, we play that shit. But yeah, I, I called this one girl. I'll never forget her name was Mora. And like, um, I remember I got her number in school because like we had some type of homework together or project. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, I'm gonna fucking call her this weekend uh, just to talk to her, just to talk to her. Okay. And then I called her, and she answered, and I was like, "I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you. I meant to call my mom." Oh, <laughs> you want to talk about slipping, bro? Come on. I Instead was, of just I was, hanging up, I was like, "Mora, it's like you know, M O." I was like, "It's right next to my mom's name in my phone because oh I just got my, my first God, cell bro. phone." Yeah. And, yeah, I was like, yeah. and she was like, "Oh, it's okay," and I was just like, "Yeah, I'm sorry." <laughs> How did your encounter go? Like, go yeah. with her? Yeah. Oh, it was fine. He transferred schools. <laughs> Damn, he was nowhere I to was, be seen I after was that. short, fat, and unattractive anyway, so it was, it's not like she was into me anyway. Oh, that, that was kind of tragic, I feel bro. like we're missing someone in the 90s. We did video Something. games. We did... Nah, there's so much, bro. There's, dude, we can have a whole 90s episode. Yeah. Let, me, let me ask you guys this, though. Like I said with the WB store, what would you bring back from the 90s? Like, would it be arcades? Would it be Blockbuster? You're talking about a store? Like, yeah, like what establishment or, or something? Like, what place that you would go to would you bring back or resurrect for the new generation? Like, current mm, day? 90s. We can end on this, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we can end on yeah. this. Because we could, honestly, we could keep on going that's what, yo, bro, forever so for much. this. Like if I had something, I guess down. Discovery Zone. We literally talked about bringing that up too. So yeah, go. That you were that that would is Discovery Zone or Fun Zone, whatever one. DZ, the Discovery Zone. Yeah, it was. That was a whole vibe. It was like Chuck E. Cheese on steroids. It was, it was way better than Chuck E. Cheese. It was yeah, fucking Chuck creepy Cheese. rats, bro. Yeah, I love Chuck E. Cheese. You like their bro. pizza too? Yeah, I did. Tastes like I, ass. I'm not. I was thinking about I like ordering Chuck E. Cheese pizza actually. too. Is there I, Chuck E. Cheese open? Yeah, yeah. There's one in church because the one in Burlington shut down too recently. Oh, that shut down a while ago. Yeah, I think this Chuck E. Cheese is still open. It one in Cherry Hill. Yeah, near the mall. Next to, next to the mall. Yeah, probably. I might get some food from there one day just to. But see why? If taste. there's a Red Robin right next to yeah. it. Yeah, bro. He's bro, not. Red Robin is. I, I have bad experiences there. They whoa, over. Whoa, whoa, bro, whoa. hold on, real, real quick. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. The first time I went. Topic, no, the first time I went to Red Robin with my boys a couple years ago. Found a hair. I ordered some fried scrimp. I paid like 15 bucks for it. They gave me like six pieces of scrimp. Hmm. Highly unsatisfied. I don't like that, but you went to a burger spot for shrimp. So that's on you. He went to a burger spot in front, like over a fucking children's theme park. If you want shrimp, don't go to a burger spot. Bro, I was hot. Yeah, they, they, they could have. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> TG, TGI Fridays never did this to me. 
Yeah, TGI you know, Fridays never did spot. that, bro. I'm eating. I'm eating good at TGI Fridays. Yeah, but right, or TGI Fridays is not a burger spot. You went to you went to McDonald's and asked for shrimp. That's basically what you did. Yeah, bro, McDonald's doesn't, <laughs> McDonald's doesn't sell shrimp on their menu. Come on now. Nah, he sound yeah, like you're white knighting time. for Red Robin over no, here. No, he's not. He, that, but that makes sense. Like, hey, you, you, bro, you go to some place get, that's special. You went to a seafood I'm, shop I'm and asked this, for a burger. I'm say this. <laughs> if you're going to give me six pieces of scrimp, don't charge me $15. Dude, that's they, overpriced. Do you charge not know me why they charge you fifteen dollars? It's not see? like it, it was. It wasn't even that good. Because like it, it, it cost them so much to get. No, that forget shit. Red Robin. I'll still go there if people invite me to go. I don't hate on it, but I'm All just right, saying. We're gonna do though. our next yeah, podcast at Red every Robin. Time, every <laughs> Yo, time you're that'll be dope. Red it's Robin. so fucking good, man. The I love Red Robin. What's Red your go to? What's your go to? Well, before I stop eating meat, pause. I was doing a Whiskey River Barbecue Burger. Yo. Shout out Whiskey River Barbecue oh. Burger. And then I'll add bacon on top of it. But then now that I stop eating meat, um, pause, I would get the, they have a veggie burger. It's a mm. uh, quinoa burger and it's actually really Ooh. fucking good. Dude, quinoa is dope. No, the fucking, they dressed it up the same way. It's fucking, you, mm. if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the thing about and like a vegetarian. It's fucking stuff. banging. Sometimes I get two of them pause. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> You know Double what? Right, I'm gonna go to Red Robin and I'm gonna order that same burger. No, get the whiskey river. Yeah, barbecue. No, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. yeah, and then add bacon on top of it, and you're welcome. You I'll, I'll take I'll take you up on that recommendation. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. Come on, six. No, tell me, tell me, tell me. You don't go to a burger, a burger spot and ask for seafood. Same thing. You don't go to a seafood spot and ask for a burger. Bro, they shouldn't put it on their menu then if they're not gonna. They do know, it the right idiots way. like you would overpay for it. I wasn't happy about it, bro. I was but not happy. You did it. And they made their money. So you went fuck. to a gourmet burger shop. <laughs> Go- gourmet. Yeah, gourmet. Yeah, gourmet burgers. What? Bro, you, you don't, don't even go- know because you order shrimp. Yeah, man. you do not know what a gourmet burger is? Yeah, they're on point, bro. I'm trying to tell you it's the best burger spot out here right now. Bobby's Burgers was pretty good when it was around. You ever Bobby's? had that? Bobby Flay's uh, restaurant? Ew. It was short-lived, but that had a pretty good burger. Short-lived for a reason. Yeah. It, I, it was good. You, I liked it. Wait, so like you would prefer Red Robin like over Five Guys? Yeah, for sure. I love Five Guys. I don't even hesitate. I wouldn't. Even well, hesitate. actually, you know, what? I would say fuck there yes. Are two different burgers, actually, because there there is no such thing as a gourmet burger. Well, at five, five Guys five is burgers. like it's like almost fast food. Apparently. Yeah, yeah, it's basically fast food. Yeah. It's just and they're worthy. You went to all expensive. They are kind of expensive. It's like no. they're worth the money, in my opinion. It's ten bucks for a burger, but they give you a nice. Big chunk pause. That's kind of expensive. Okay, then you gotta go to big. Or you gotta go to Red Robin then, because yeah. the burgers are bigger. I'll, I'll, burgers are bigger I'll, I'm, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take you up on the recommendation. And then you get uh, bottomless fries. Yeah. I'm gonna take you up on. I'm, I'm bottomless. Gonna take I did that once. I'm gonna take you up on the recommendation. I'm a Do big. It. I'm a food guy. Order it tomorrow. Maybe. Nah, go tomorrow. There's no like reason Grubhub not to. It. Grubhub we'll it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll go in the restaurant. I'll go eat there. They even got outside. They, they you can eat inside too. They got the blue. They got the blue moon shake too. Yeah, How suggest in that? that it's a it's just <laughs> blue moon with like that's the beer. It's a beer. Yeah. It's a, it's. I'm trying uh, to tell you. I get the blue moon shake. No blue moon. Just give me a shake. The you, fuck? But it doesn't taste like <laughs> blue moon. It's crazy. It tastes like a, just like milk. Just take though. my word for it. You're welcome. So. It sounds like a br- very Bronson esque right bringing there. Bringing back Discovery Zone and with a big shout out endorsement to Red Robin. Mm. What would yeah, you Red bring? Robin got a heavy. Uh, yeah. I said mine, bro. The WB store. You just bring that back? I would bring that back. And I think music stores, like I, or maybe not stores, but I would bring that back at least one. Like there is a dope feeling about physical copies. Sam Goody, yeah. Uh, Sa- Sam Goody or Tower Records. Like I appreciated being able to go back in the day, walk in there. And like actually look through all the CDs and be able to pick out what you wanted, see the new release section. I even, agree. Even at Best Buy a few years ago, when I was buying like everything that would come out, like this back in 2013, 14, I would go to Best Buy and I'm just looking through everything. I'm like, oh man, new Rick Ross is out, well, or even, the new Ti is out. And as you're looking too, it's a great way to discover music. I'd be like, oh, Earth, Wind, and Fire's greatest hits. Let me pop this up right here. So it's like if you got a little extra bread or whatever, autograph. I know this is another thing too that probably is gonna take a while to come back, but like autograph signings that like that they would have at the music stores themselves like i would definitely pop out for that i would love to bring back like a tower records and the wb store um those would probably be my top two mm. well look i mean for now you can just go to fye you yeah, get that same feel true, pretty true. much the same thing. you get that same feel because they yeah. still got cds they got vinyls too yeah, so. yeah they try to incorporate everything like a collector side the music side they have the, the fucking movies. big ass like that's Mo- way more now model a, figures and shit. That's way more now of a collector store than this music yeah, store. That though. and Hot Topic. They right. still got they got CDs. They still got yeah. hard copies. So if For you want that feel back, 
cause, I mean, go for it. A lot of artists these days, they'll be like releasing CDs, like autograph CDs online. I'm a big merch guy, so I'll be getting things off there too. So, you know, but yeah, yeah, yeah I, I get what you're saying. But if you so, want that nostalgic feel, FYE still got a little bit of it. So I guess for me, it would either have to be EB Games, Fire, or Circuit City. Fire. <laughs> Circuit City, though. Yeah, both. One went under, the other one got bought out. Um, yeah, uh, it was just something about Circuit City over Best Buy. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I, I just remember going there a lot more as a kid. And then EB Games, I felt like you, you fucking, you know, the employees weren't goddamn down your throat. Paul's mm. about like signing up or like, can I help you find anything? Commission, like, yeah. like you can ask me like, oh, are you looking for anything specific? And then once I say, no, nah, I'm just looking, leave me the fuck alone. Mm. Don't ask me about like, are you a member? Like, no, I'm not a member. Cause are you single? <laughs> Do you have a mortgage? What's your social? Yeah. So many How many bedrooms you got? You got? But. Yeah, I would bring back you got one. got cameras in your bedrooms? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy because all you... Where you live? You'll be seeing memes about uh, GameStop employees, and that's like what they'll be talking about always so... Yeah, so I feel it would be like an EB Games I would want to bring back or Circuit City because like I, Best Buy, they're all right. They're cool. But I'd rather see a Circuit City back in town, and I would love to see more EB Games. I wish EB Games took over GameStop, but that nah, didn't work out. I got one more thing, too. The card show. Uh, did you guys ever go to those when you're younger? And you know how like you collect sports trading cards and whatnot. Cherry Hill Mall used to have a weekend like once a year where they would have a bunch of vendors come in and they would like uh just make stands like through the walkway mm-hmm. and it would be a whole card show. And I remember it would hmm. be the dopest feeling like just shifting through everything and just finding like rookie cards of your favorite basketball players. Yeah. They had Pokemon cards, uh, just all cards. I know about, and yeah. I remember that was always such a dope feeling to me. Like I'll always remember the day I found like my Baron Davis rookie card just mm. scrolling through and it's like they're already hard cased, just like 50 UCLA. cents a dollar. And I'd be like, oh I mean, my that, God, these are so tough. A dope feeling if you're a card just collector. Me at, at flea markets, pretty much. Flea markets were my shit, bro. I, they my, still are my still shit. Garden go, State Park. Oh, bro. I go every Saturday. I'm going tomorrow. W- which one do you go to? I go to English Town now because I live. Yeah, I'm like, where the fuck 33 go, seconds from it. I can get there in less than a minute. English Town? I'm going to look that up. I'm actually about to start selling markets. shit there, to be honest. I'm going to sell some when you, sneakers and. So clothes. it's probably like 40 minutes from me. Yeah. Or 45. Yeah. Cause like you know my spot, well our what what Columbus. we used to go. Yeah. I used to go to Columbus all day. I go to I still go to Columbus. I still take that ride. But now, like I said, I'm thirty seconds yeah. from English Town. We rode our bikes last Saturday. Jeez. Me and the kids, Ooh, and my wife. It's beautiful. Yeah, we rode our we rode we rode our bikes to the flea market. Yo, you're Lovely. um, yeah. Let me know next time you go to Columbus. All right. Because you know I'm always down to buy some random shit. <laughs> Yo, r- real ones know about Garden State Park. That was like South Jersey's flea market. <clears throat> it's like where the um, yeah, where like that set. Wegmans Plaza is right now. What? what? Like on yeah, on seventy where the like where the Wegmans Plaza. Oh is. yeah, that's just gone. Yeah, that that whole I, I remember, never knew about that one, yeah. bro. Uh, Tacconi. So yeah, Ticcone. that's still around, that's still around. Yeah, mm-hmm. Tacconi or Columbus. Mm-hmm. I used to grow up. Tacconi, I don't think is around anymore. The it used to be called Pensacola Mart. Yeah, it's right Palmyra next to the bridge. Mart. Yeah, it's right next to the bridge. But I, I don't know if they still have it though. Pensacola Mart is in Willembro now. All right. Yeah, but it's that's in that trash. store. It's trash. Yeah, it's horrible. Garden State Park was a vibe on Sundays though. I remember going there with like my parents, like the Pokemon card book. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I'll always remember this too. Like we went there right after Aaliyah had died, because I think it was on the Saturday that she passed. So like the week after. They were, of course, selling like all Aaliyah's because Hollywood, all Aaliyah's albums yeah. and like merch and all that. I'm wearing her shirt right now. Yeah. Man. Shout out to Aaliyah, but uh, shout out R. Kelly, right? Oh, Jesus, fuck yeah, him. Yeah. Hey, man, I, nah. I like his music, fuck him. <laughs> but nah, man, Garden State Park was a whole vibe. I and it's just like that old school flea market vibe. It just it's cool, it's being markets, outdoors and all that. Yeah, flea markets are dope. I'm going tomorrow, like, I just I, I'll Damn never you. get over it. Yeah. What what do you do? So do they have? It's just like a bunch of vendors there and just selling everything. Yeah. What what do you normally get from there? Um, or like, is there like a particular food? Because some people got like pretzels or snow cones, like some. Or is it just like? Well, Columbus had a lot of Spanish food. We get some Spanish yes. foods in there. Um, what else? Shish kebab. It's Columbus is known for their pizza too. They got a nice yes. spot indoor. They got great pizza. The fries. They got the fr- the cheese, cheese fries. fries. Wait, you've been you've been there too, Justin. Colum- yeah. This is the Columbus. Movie. Yeah, we used to go together. Columbus is my shit. Like as a child till now. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna write these down because I need to visit. You've never place. been. Where to do Columbus? you live at? Where do you live? Bro, like I'm a local minutes? ass dude, bro. I, I live in Pensacola. 
That's not far. He's like twenty five minutes away from here. Yeah. You one day we'll go. All right. We're yeah. gonna go. Just go down one thirty. We could do a vibe out there. Go all the way to Burlington and then. I guess we could. Yeah, we could do a vibe out. We could meet up with Tom. Yeah. If, you're free, you know, if he ever easy. comes through, yeah. I'll go to Columbus. That's exit seven for me. So I live on exit eight. So I go to seven eight and hit seven. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Right there. Oh, man. Well. This was a fun trip down yeah. memory lane, man. We, yeah, I feel we like. We touched on a lot of stuff. That, yeah, not, this, that this 90s was R&B one. got me in the mood. I, I'm always for, I'm always down for it, anything it, 90s. It, it, it got me in the mood. You, you know mean what in a mode. Yeah, pause, 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 yeah, pause. There's, no, mood, there's no chicks here. But listen, 90s. <laughs> 90s everything over everything. 90s, yeah, that should be a shirt. 90s everything over everything. That's it. Wow. It's easy. It's very easy. Nah, man, this. I'm glad we did this episode. And I'm surprised we actually, it was an hour and a half. It yeah, didn't feel like and it. We cut it short, too. We yeah. could keep on going. Oh, I really go all day. To. Oh. Well, Pause. Well, <laughs> we can just have it broken down into more tighter segments. So it's like 90s hip hop specifically, or Pause. 90s cartoon show specifically. Yeah. Or, or, or sitcom. What, Animaniacs? Oh my Tiny god, the Animani or fucking um. All right, I'm not. No, no, wait, no. Let's not start. Uh, 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 um, what's his name? You start with one. Um, I'm just saying this as as the last thing. Fucking uh, Freakazoid. Ooh, that's my dude. That motherfucker was stupid as <laughs> but yeah, fuck. I'll leave it at that, Freakazoid. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this, man. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna title this. I'll figure it out. This <laughs> is the throwback. The throwback joint. It needs to be eye catching. Hey, this could be part one. So, yeah. Oh, that could be. Yeah, that could be a nice series. The throwback series. But um, but no, yeah, it needs to be eye catching like that. Every like ranch dressing is for squares or some shit. Yeah, I still stand by that. Yeah, he's the one who. Said I remember that. that. Yeah, yeah, I remember it's that. All about blue you cheese. went crazy. It's blue all about. Cheese it and literally is blue cheese. <laughs> blue cheese and bone-in wings. Don't talk to me about boneless wings. Don't talk to me about ranch dressing. You yeah, like get your life cheese. together. No, I don't. You do. No, I don't. What you if like I ever nuggets, ordered bitch? that? That's not boneless wings. They're nuggets. Don't Tec- advertise Tec- them as boneless I mean, wings or nuggets. We can have a whole debate that nuggets are boneless I wings. Mean, don't call them wings. If you're talking, if you're gonna order wait, wings, wait, what? I gonna, mean, it could be boneless wings, nuggets, bro. Don't boneless I'm wings saying, or nuggets, well, bro. I'm, well, I'm saying if you're gonna advertise that wings, eat the bone in. There oh. needs to be a bone. But those boneless okay. ones, you don't really. I'm, it's not good stuff. I know. <laughs> I just recently started eating chicken yeah, again. But you're so. like you're on the clean shit though, clean chicken. That's what I said before. But no, I'm eating everything chicken now. We just had wings yesterday. Buffalo. Ooh, that's what I'm wild talking wings. about. Right, I'm coming up. Don't man. ever disrespect you, the chicken, man. I, even Everyone though I'm not drinking, chicken. y'all can have wine. When's the last time you drank? Uh, almost two months ago. How do you feel? Fine. Good. Yeah. I drink on the weekends when I'm off. Yeah. But it alcohol is terrible. It should be illegal. And it was at one point. It should be. But let's not get into it. It's another episode. <laughs> yeah, so, but As I drink this beer. I know, right? Thank you again, Tomcast, Gamecast. Uh, not, yo, at this point, he has the most appearances, right? On the show. I would imagine. I'll see y'all four. next week. <laughs> yeah, technically, he has four. Yeah. Four, four, four episodes. episodes. Man. Yeah. I appreciate it. The Thank you. I'm familiar with your voice now. I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad you're able yeah, to Yeah, they can on. actually hear me now. I'm not repeating myself. Oh, my. It, no, it's like you have the mic in front of your face. Let's go. <laughs> I'm awake. Last time I don't, I don't remember. I kept telling you, I was like, I, was like, I don't oh. remember being here. <laughs> Put it that way. Now I remember being here. I can recall what I said. Oh my god! And I'm not repeating myself. But we're all good. We're, we're gonna keep good. this going. No, I think we're gonna keep this throwback. This has to be a series. Yeah, because, we can do the throwback. Too much. The throwback. We got to talk about one. throwback sneakers too, because I got the Cortez's oh. on. Yo, yo, we were actually talking about doing a, a potential sneaker Just episode. A sneaker episode. Yeah, it is. I got a couple guys too, so I feel like you'll get along with both of them. Let's get I'll it. just, I'll just not be here. Let's fucking. <laughs> That's why get I'm it. saying, we bro, we need that fourth mic. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look in. Send me no. the link. I'm gonna look into it. I'll, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Available, but I'll copy. Oh man, this has been a good one, and it's late. It's no late night episode, but um, yeah, man. Again, uh, if, if you enjoyed it, man, leave a follow. Leave a follow. Jesus Christ, leave a rating, comment, sub, do all that cool stuff. Um, yeah, this episode. Oh no, wait, that was the other sub, another episode. But no, nah, you didn't hear that. Anyway. <laughs> We hope we were able to give you guys a bunch of, like, take you down trip of memory lane. Maybe you'll watch some of these movies, listen to some of these songs. Nostalgia yeah. juices flowing. That's it. But, uh, yeah, this has been fun. As always, it's been your host, J-Rod. It's been your boy, Prince Ali. And your boy, Tom Cash, man. Tom. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being on again, and we will catch you guys in the next episode. Deuces. Peace. Peace.